sex trafficking is a uh, domestic problem. It's not an international concern. It's a problem right here in South Florida. We've got to open up our eyes, deal with this issue, and make people aware that it is happening right in our own community. It's not, you don't need to go halfway around the world to say, oh, this country is abusing and, and uh, trafficking in, in persons and uh, using girls as, uh, as sexual objects. It's happening right here and right now. We need to educate our community members. We need to make them aware that this is happening. We also need to work closely with, uh, with social workers and, and healthcare workers and law enforcement so that they know that this is a crime that must be uh, fully uh, investigated and enforced. These are laws that are as serious as every other law on the books. So sexual trafficking hits home. It hits our South Florida community. It hits, uh, it hits every area. No one is immune from it. It does not discriminate. Don't think that because you're from a, a, a certain uh, socioeconomic class or a certain ethnic group that it's not going to happen in your own neighborhood or to your own coworker. Maybe someone you work with has a daughter in this difficult position. So let's open our eyes. Let's become aware and let's act. It's up to each and every one of us to be that agent of change. When it comes to sexual trafficking, there is no tolerance whatsoever. It's up to every family member and every, every aunt, every mom, every dad, everyone who is involved in that young, uh, young girl's life to be aware of, uh, of what's going on with her, changes in her, in her behavior, in her personality, in her schoolwork, in the type of friends with whom she is uh, uh, being seen, uh, any older men who are, are suddenly interested in helping her with homework assignments. Uh, we've got to be aware of, of our children, where they are, with whom they're associating, and, and help them become powerful young women. It is within their, uh, their own uh, character to become that strong woman, but we need to foster that change in them. We need to, to build them up and build their self-esteem. We need to make sure that they understand that they are worthy of, uh, of being the best that they can be. Uh, so, many, uh, so many times because of peer pressure or because of the mass media uh, exposure to what an ideal female should be, should be of a certain height and a certain weight and a certain class, uh, and then girls are made to feel inferior. And so they will, they will then uh, lend themselves to, uh, to these men who will give them false praise uh, just to, uh, to get them under their control. And if you think that uh, a young girl is not in the best home situation, see how you could become involved reaching out to so many wonderful groups that we have here in South Florida who can help you out and uh, maybe find a, a safe place for this young girl. Uh, maybe, it, maybe it's not the house, maybe it's, it's some other place, but, uh, but be aware, help them out, and, and nurture them so they can become strong women and be the leaders of tomorrow that they're capable of being. Each child and each daughter is unique in her own way, and uh, they have great potential. It's up to us uh, to act on that potential and, and help them see the beauty within each one. I commend uh, great institutions like the Women's Fund and the Children's Trust, uh, both uh, very sacred uh, groups in our community, but what a wonderful uh, mix to, the, to have them come together and spearhead this, uh, this effort uh, to shine the light on a topic that has been taboo for too long. Uh, the sexual exploitation of young girls, the human trafficking of, uh, of young girls, and uh, making sure that uh, every member of our society is aware of the problem, but more importantly, what can we do to make sure that this is a problem that will be extinguished and will never uh, be seen again. Uh, it's like a disease of, of olden years where you no longer have it. Well, this is a scourge on civilized society. To think that a young girl could be trafficked in this way is just shameful. So I commend uh, the Women's Fund and I commend the Children's Trust for all the work that they're doing and to have these wonderful organizations combine their energies and their brain power uh, to rid uh, our community of this scourge is just great news.